Stars are very different from one another. Some of these differences are small, others are obvious and dramatic. But despite this, all stars begin in the same way. The first stage in any star's life cycle is as a cloud of dust and hydrogen gas, called a nebula. Gravity begins to pull these particles inwards. As gas molecules get closer to each other, they rub together, creating friction and heating up. A glowing spherical shape starts to take form. But this spherical object is not a star yet, so we call it a protostar. As more and more material collects, and gravity pulls the protostar's material even closer together, its core eventually reaches the temperature at which nuclear fusion can begin. This signals the birth of the new star. Now that nuclear fusion has started, it creates so much outwards radiation pressure that it prevents the rest of the star from collapsing any further. This process marks the beginning of the star's main sequence segment of its life. Main sequence stars have tons of different qualities though. They vary greatly in size, color, temperature, and more. In our next video, we'll talk about the life and death of these stars.